Welcome friends. In this video we will discuss about the common bus system. If you want this lecture in Hindi then it is also available in the playlist of computer organization and architecture. So let's explore it. Welcome friends. In this video we will discuss about the common bus system. We just know that there are the some basic register which are used in common bus system. They are follows PC, program counter, AR, address register, IR, instruction register, TR, temporary register, OUTR for output, INPR for input and memory and DR, data register, AC, accumulator. These are the some registers are used in computer basics, computer basics, computer organization and as we know that these are the registers but how these registers arrange in computer so these registers are arranged in computer in a particular manner in a so these registers are arranged in a system in a particular manner called common bus system so i have to display i going to display a particular diagram uh, of this register how these registers are arranged so as we know that data register the work of data register is dr is hold the memory address and AR for which is uh, generally 12 bits and uh, hold the address of the memory accumulator process register instruction hold the instruction code and the program counter hold the address of the instruction TR temporary register INPR hold the input character and OUTR hold the output character so as we move towards the common bus system we have to follow the some rules and diagrams and they are the following diagrams and this is the common bus system in this we can say that the arrangement of data arrangement of the particular registers and as we know that there is an arrangement first memory memory unit we take an 4096 into 16 and then AR register which is of 12 bit PR register, PC which is of 12 bit and DR which is of 16 bits then we take AC which is of 16 bits INPR which is of 8 bit IR which is of 16 bit and TR which is of 16 bit and at the last we take OUTR which is of 8 bit now first we what we do uh, OUTR is connected with every register TR, IR, AC, DR as you see that PC, AR but OUTR is not connected with memory unit therefore we connected with AR through memory unit because with the help of this we eliminate the need of address bus that would have been needed otherwise then we can say that there is AC the AC what AC do? accumulator accumulator just processing, processing it is known as processing register it processes all the commands and operation what were the given by the user so at, uh, we are connected with AC through logical circuit as you can see that logical circuit and and it is also connected with E flip flop and that logical circuit is other end is connected with DR register and one end is connected with AC for processing the instruction and other connected with input INPR because as we know that the input I, the work of in INPR is to take the character and then it would going to the process register called AC then it adder and logical pass through it and then it transfer into DR register and then it's move and we can say that output is connected with uh, AR register PC and this way for theory purpose we can say the following points S2, S1, S0, 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 S1, S2 are the selected register memory that would use the bus. These are the points and load. The, every register has three commands. One is load, second is increment and CL. CLR means to say clear. But what was the function of load? Load when enabling the particular register receive the data from the bus during the next clock pulse transaction and E flip hold the hold the carrier DR data register AC IR TR have 16 which as I already told 
and ARPC have 12 bit each since they hold a memory address. As we know that when the content of AR or PC are applied to 16 bit common bus, the four most significant bits are set to zero. When and when the AR or PC receives the information from the bus, then only 12 least significant bits are transferred into register. INPR and OUTR communicate with eight least significant bits in the bus. And as we know that INPR receives the character from the input device which is transferred to AC and OUTR receive a character from AC and deliver it from output device. And the input data and output data of the memory are connected to common bus. As I earlier told that we, why we need AR register. We need an AR register because we want to eliminate the one more bus called address bus that would have been needed otherwise. With the help of AR register, we eliminate the need of address bus. So, written format is like that. The input data and output data of the memory are connected to common bus, but memory address is connected to AR. Therefore, AR must always be used to specify a memory address. By using the single register for the address, we eliminate the need of address bus that would have been needed otherwise. If we're going to operation performed like register to memory, then we can say that operation is right operation. If we go into operation performed like memory to register, then we can say that it is register. It is read operation. Note that this is a basically note. The content of any register can be applied on to the bus, and operation can be performed in adder and logical circuit during the same clock. What is adder and logical circuit? That perform action and operation. All the processing work take place. That's a, we are connected. That's why we are connected with adder and logical circuit through AC, and that is transferred to furthermore register. And one more flip flop, e flip flop is also connected with them. And adder and logical circuit is also connected with INPR to take the input character that would is necessary point for transferring the data into a common bus system. So this is whole about the common. Bus system i think you get it if you like it then please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel thank you